Hi, welcome to Younger Farming Outdoors. My name is Glenn. I'm going to go over today a trailer that is one of the best deals that you're going to find for a used utility trailer. And we're going to go over it. I'm going to give you the good points about it, maybe some of the bad points about it. And, uh, and you can go from there and make a decision yourself. We just actually picked this one up. Haven't had it, but about three or four months. And so far, it's turning out to be one of the most used trailers out here on the farm because it is versatile. So let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna do a quick walk around. And by the color, you can pretty much guess that it, it is a Home Depot tool rental trailer. And very few people realize this or know this, that these trailers are kept for a short length of time. They're gently used. I mean, they've got some scrapes and marks on them. And then they're put up for sale. And they're rotated out of the Home Depot fleet. They do have some cosmetic blemishes on them. But as for a used trailer, you cannot beat this deal. And we're gonna go over it here and explain a little bit about the trailer and what you can expect. Okay, the Home Depot trailer is a six foot by eight foot utility trailer. And in our opinion, it's one of the best deals you're gonna get when buying a used small utility trailer. Home Depot uses several different manufacturers. This one happens to be Anderson Manufacturing, which is a very, very good uh, manufacturer of trailers. And it has an extremely or good build quality. The utility traders are used and do have some blemishes, some more than others. We paid right at $12.50 for it, which dollar for dollar, if you purchased a utility trader from one of the big box stores, this is by far a better deal. You're looking at about $1,900, almost $2,000 for an equivalent trader, and that's in the five uh, and a half foot by eight foot uh, trailer and this is a six foot wide by eight foot long so you're getting more trailer for the money and it's actually better built at the end of this video I'll show you how you can find an online link to the Home Depot tool rental page which will show locations in your area that have trailers for sale as well as pricing so stick around for that Keep in mind, most locations have several traders for rent in their fleet. Don't make the mistake that I did. Uh, when my son and I went, uh, after finding the listing for this trader, I automatically looked for the trader that was in the worst shape cosmetically and mechanically. The trader that I thought would be the trader that was being offered for sale was in very, very rough shape. And I was ready to walk away and keep looking. My son wasn't so easy to walk away and went inside the store where we found out that the worst trailer in the store's fleet was not the trailer they were selling, it was actually this one right here. We were actually shocked when we found out that it was this trailer uh, and we ended up going ahead and purchasing because like I said, it was a very good deal. Starting on the inside on the floor, this is 11 gauge diamond plate steel floor. There's no wood to rot, no having to seal the floor to try to prevent wood rot. Um, you can't beat a steel floor. If you've never had a trailer with a steel floor, steel floor is the way to go. The axle underneath it, it is a leaf sprung axle. It's a 3,500 pound capacity axle. It is a drop axle, which makes the trailer sit just a little bit lower to the ground, which I'll explain the advantages to that in just a few minutes. The trailer, as it does sit lower to the ground, it makes whenever you're Whenever this back gate is put down, it makes loading uh, something such as a Z-turn mower or even walking up and down the the, uh, the ramp to go into the back of the trailer. There's less fatigue on you because it is lower. It's not very steep. Your mower deck is not going to bottom out right here like most mowers do on taller trailers. Um, and like I say, it's just, it, it just makes things a lot easier. It's not very steep, easy to walk up. Uh, you will notice on this trailer, it does have, uh, it does have some damage on the, uh, 
expanded metal here, which will at some point need to be replaced. It's not that big a deal. The trailer is still usable, 100% usable, even with it uh, uh, kind of bent, <laughs> but it's not that bad. Not too worried about it. The trailer does come with full size 15 inch tires. Um, it does not use the little small utility trailer tires, which a lot of time is what you end up getting uh, even on the $2,000 big box store trailers. It even comes with a full size spare. And the, tr the tread on the spare is in like new shape. Uh, you're not gonna beat this. Like I say, it, it, it extremely, extremely good deal. And also if you'll notice here, it does have a plate for a trailer lock. For, I mean, so you can lock your, uh, your spare tire. Very, very good in my opinion. Uh, this also has four D-rings welded in the corners of the trailer, one in each corner. And these are very good for tying down. Can't beat that. Next, the back ramp is a 48 inch fold down ramp. It's heavy duty, it's square tubing. It is not made out of angle iron like a lot of them except for the bottom of the ramp, which this aids in when you're driving up a mower or uh, uh, bringing equipment up on the trailer. Um, very well built, very well built. On the very front end, it has a two inch adjustable ram coupler. And these are, this style coupler is one of the best in the industry. Um, very, very, very good and very, very safe to use. It is adjustable. You can move it up and down for the height of your vehicle. And in our case, uh, we're going to be end up pulling it behind the tractor for use on the property. Uh, that was one of the main uses for this trailer was to be able to use it as a farm trailer. And then it also, it has a 5,000 pound swivel jack. Uh, it does come up out of the way and, and swings up. I like to totally take it off and remove it, uh, set it up inside the trailer, or if I'm traveling with it, up inside the truck where nobody can steal it. Uh, like I say, this is one of the best deals. You're not gonna, you're not gonna find a better deal. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're going to make the trailer into what we wanna use it for. Uh, we're going to put racks on the side of it to, to put our weed eaters, uh, to haul our equipment around the property for high, uh, property maintenance. Um, and we're gonna repaint it at some point. And depending on what part of the country you're in, these trailers are made slightly different. Some of them have pins for the tailgate. Some of them have a spin-on uh, uh, spin plate that holds the ramp up. But no matter who manufactured it, these are extremely good deals. Like I say, $12.50 is what we paid out the door for it. And uh, anything comparable in the brand new market at the big box stores, you're looking right at $2,000 or just under. Uh, so this is an extremely, extremely good deal if you're looking for a good quality used trailer, uh, especially on the farm. It's gonna get dinged up, it's gonna get scratched. Um, what few places that this does have is nothing. Um, extremely good quality though. But anyway, thank you for watching and we'll have, uh, we'll have some more, more videos coming up uh, on uh, trailers and, and uh, modifications and things like that. But thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.